On this earth, there are billions of species, but only the human species is the most advanced and powerful. If we try to understand the reasons behind this, many factors will come to light. However, I believe that the biggest reason is our human curiosity, which sets us apart from all other beings. The human race, through millions of years of unified curiosity, has conquered the earth today. It is this curiosity that led us to build telescopes to understand the universe's mysteries and uncover its secrets. After the success of the Hubble Space Telescope, NASA launched several telescopes that have captured images of thousands of galaxies, superclusters, and brought us closer to the universe. The journey of a telescope may seem easy, but it is incredibly complex. Due to a flaw in the Hubble Telescope's mirror, the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope took more than 25 years. A defect smaller than a single nanometer could jeopardize a mission worth billions of dollars. It took three years for NASA to prepare new instruments for the telescope due to the Hubble telescope's success. All these challenges have frustrated not only NASA but all space agencies. Why does even a single nanometer defect bother them? If a defect occurs in the future, can we ever fix this mission? Let's embark on a journey through the universe that will bring you closer to the telescope. In 1990, NASA launched its most powerful telescope into space. This telescope, with a primary mirror of 2.4 meters, was designed to orbit the Earth's low orbit. To avoid the effects of Earth's atmosphere and pollution, this telescope was placed in a special orbit 500 kilometers above the Earth's surface. After the launch, scientists discovered a flaw in its primary mirror. The Hubble telescope was facing a problem in space that had never been seen in human history. It was continuously sending blurred images due to a defect in its 2,000 nanometer polished mirror. Scientists could not understand why a mirror polished so smoothly up to 10 nanometers was producing such blurred images. The engineers at Hubble discovered the problem by using the backup mirror, which had been reserved for this very reason. The primary mirror of Hubble, which had been set in the air, was continuously sending blurred images. Even though the mirror was polished up to 10 nanometers, the outer region had been polished more than 2,000 nanometers, which is hardly noticeable. The entire Hubble mission was at stake because of this defect in its surface. This defect, which was 50 times smaller than the width of a human hair, would have created difficulties in detecting the dim light from galaxies billions of light years away. The defect in the mirror was called spherical aberration, where some light rays reflected off the telescope's mirror did not reach the focal point. This caused the images of galaxies obtained by the telescope to be very blurry. NASA designed the Hubble Space Telescope in such a way that its components could be replaced in the future. NASA cannot fit its backup mirror into space in any way. In space, a mirror cannot be adjusted, so scientists devised a plan to correct it through small lenses and mirrors. This was similar to how a person with blurry vision might wear glasses with lenses to correct their eyesight. The Hubble telescope also addressed this issue by creating a set of mirrors and lenses that were placed in front of the telescope's primary mirror. This instrument was called the QOSTR, which essentially acted as an optical correction lens for the Hubble, allowing the primary mirror to provide accurate observations. The cost of this initial Hubble mission was approximately $700 million. If we convert that to today's rates, it would be around $15 billion, or even 14,600 crores. Due to a small mistake by NASA, the Hubble telescope had to be repaired within just three years. However, this repair allowed it to continuously capture images, revealing for the first time that the universe extends nearly 14 billion light years beyond the Earth's 12 billion year old light. Since then, the Hubble telescope has undergone several servicing missions and upgrades. Recently, it has been succeeded by the James Webb Telescope, which was launched on December 25, 2021. The James Webb Telescope faced delays due to issues with Hubble's primary mirror, servicing missions, and budget constraints. It took about 25 years from the start of work in 1996 to its launch in 2021. Initially budgeted at $500 million, 
Its costs escalated to nearly $10 billion due to repeated improvements and launch delays. The telescope is designed to allow its components to be upgraded even in space, as it can be serviced by astronauts. However, unlike the Hubble, the James Webb Telescope cannot be repaired once it's launched into space. We do not have the technology to reach and repair it at a distance of 1.5 million kilometers from Earth in case of an emergency. Taking all these factors into account, the mirror of the James Webb Telescope has been designed to be larger than Hubble's mirror, and it consists of two mirrors. The first mirror is made of beryllium for its ability to maintain its shape in extreme cold temperatures in space. Beryllium is a strong metal and an excellent conductor of electricity, making it suitable for this purpose. The second mirror is made of special glass by the Kodak company. However, during testing, the beryllium mirror was preferred by scientists for its superior performance. It can easily maintain its shape in extreme conditions, making it the perfect choice for a space telescope. If you were to look at the telescope, you would notice that the Hubble's mirror appears like regular glass, while the James Webb's mirror is golden in color. The gold-coated mirror is designed to reflect more infrared light, allowing us to capture images of galaxies that even the Hubble couldn't detect. The telescope has been equipped with two mirrors to capture the images of stars and galaxies in high definition. James Webb Telescope's near-infrared camera, known as the NearCam, captured approximately 1560 images at around 156 different positions. The data amounted to about 54 gigabytes, and NASA processed it to release a 2 billion pixel image. Using its primary mirror still segments, the telescope tracked and captured an image of the star HD 84406, located far away from Earth. Currently, the telescope is in a phase where it operates only at cryogenic temperatures, and it's only at this stage that you might see the first clear images from the telescope. When the Hubble captured its first image of a galaxy, it appeared blurry. The James Webb Telescope, built with the latest technology, is more sensitive and powerful than the Hubble. It cannot be serviced after launch, making it a one-time mission. Between the years 2030 and 2040, the James Webb Telescope will have completed its mission entirely, gradually moving away from Earth's orbit. With limited fuel, it will eventually burn up in the Earth's atmosphere or crash somewhere on Earth. However, it is hoped that by then, we will have unraveled many of the universe's mysteries, which were previously unseen. That's all for this special video from our side. We hope you enjoyed it. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and thank you.